Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Uh, today, I just wanted to do another little quick video on uh, something completely random about Flight Simulator, and that's uh, VATSIM Radar. So, uh, those of you who have been playing VATSIM for a while know that there's things like VATSIS, um, that's if you want to, I think, view the air traffic controller side of things. And there was a few other websites um, around. I'm trying to think of what they were because... Yeah, I used to have them saved, but I think I deleted them once uh, Vatsim Radar came out. Anyway, this is designed and run by Vatsim, so it's uh, it runs really smooth, and it's a lot better than all the other ones. It's got all the information that you need, and you can connect your Vatsim to this, um, so you can have all the information about your flight and um, all that kind of stuff. It's got the air act cycles. Um, it's got shows the connections. Uh, how many are in bats and radar, how many pilots, how many ATC, and how many supervisors are online down the bottom. Okay, and then it shows you uh, even the events. It has an events tab, stats tab, uh, and a roadmap. So they kind of show us what their plan is to complete. Um, so it looks like it's going to end up being on Google Play and possibly the App Store, uh, which is really awesome. So even though you can still just get it up on your web browser anyway, um, but I think sometimes the uh, performance might not be that good. So, um, yeah, 3D map view, Twitch stream integration, VAT glasses data, aircraft collision prediction, like there's some cool stuff coming. Sim brief integration, so that will be really cool. Um, name of aircraft operating company, images. So it's going to be like Flight Radar 24 nearly. Um, events and ATC bookings. GitHub, uh, what else? Mobile version, favorite pilots, filters, aircraft tracking, uh, flight ETA. So that's all being completed. So yeah, so we'll have a quick look. We'll jump on. Uh, we'll choose a random flight uh, here in Australia. So we can choose a uh, Jetstar 672. Sorry, Ethan, we're using you as an example. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it shows you all the details. So it shows your name, um, uh, your home airport, okay, your VATSIM ID. I think that's your VATSIM ID. Um, and then, yeah, what you are, how many hours flight time you have. This guy is an absolute pro. Wow. Uh, good work. Uh, ground speed, altitude, heading, uh, squawk, and COM1 frequency. This can be really handy if you're trying to get onto an aircraft or if air traffic controls just come online and they're trying to reach an aircraft and they can't, you can easily jump on this and you can tell that air traffic control that like, oh, he's on Unicom, so he's not going to be uh, hearing you on the frequency. So then at least some of us on Unicom can let him know that, uh, you know, Sydney Towers after him or something like that. I've uh, heard that happen a couple of times now, so that's always pretty handy. Uh, it shows your flight plan, so Sydney to Darwin, uh, aircraft type, true airspeed, cruise altitude. Um, what is that? Oh, yeah, that must be a cruise altitude. I'm not too sure what that is. Uh, but it shows you routing too, so you can see kind of where he's going, uh, what his plan is, um, and his remarks there. So, yeah, but you can do track, uh, focus. Okay, you can't do focus yet, but you can do route. So it'll show you his whole route, um, and you can do stats. So we can have a quick look at his, uh, at his stats, I think. I might need to log in. Yeah, I might need to log in. Uh, not going to do that. But yeah, we can. Uh, so you can. It's really good because especially if you're in, um, say you're in Sydney Airport. What I do, I have three monitors, and on my left monitor, I have two of these tabs open in Batson Radar, and I have one zoomed out, kind of like this, so I can see the aircraft all around me, and I can see the any tower that comes online, and the other one, um, depending on if I'm on the ground or in the air. This is the other cool thing about this is you have all your gate numbers and stuff which is really handy so uh, especially flight simulator uh, their gate numbers don't correlate with um, what this says you just go off this because this is what the air traffic controllers are going to be looking at so uh, this is the gate you'll be you'll be at so it's very accurate um, as you can see like he's dead center on that taxiway um, but yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. It, it's paramount to anything else that, you know, has been out there. 
Um, and yeah, so you can view the, you know, view like the whole track, um, ATC. Oh yeah, so you can view, hang on, I'll just jump on the, I'll show you what there is in terms of, um, airport stuff. So you can see that this is a Sydney airport. So there's 14 departures, 16 on the ground and 12 arrivals. So you can show tracks for arriving. So I assume that's the aircraft that have arrived. So that way, what you kind of can see is if aircraft are getting held or vectored due to weather or aircraft uh, spacing or something. So that's kind of handy because when you're on your when you're about to descend, you can have a quick look at that and you can kind of prepare and get yourself ready for what approach you might be given or uh, yeah, or you know get the ADIS up even on uh, Navigraph or whatever. Uh, Yes, yeah, so this is all your on-ground departing and uh, arriving. And you've got your ATC, Sydney ground, Sydney tower, Sydney approach. Now, the best thing in my um, experience is the other programs didn't have the flight online. I think one did, a VAT SIS or something. So you can see how long these guys have been online. Uh, and usually a controller is not going to jump online for 10 minutes. So if these guys have only been online for 20 minutes and 10 minutes, you can probably say they're going to be online for another hour or two or three or four, which is good because then you can plan and go, okay, well, I'll you know, take off here. These guys should still be online. Sometimes if you jump on and they've been online for about six hours, then you can probably estimate that they're going to jump off soon just due to six hours is a long time to sit on uh, VATSIM. <laughs> So, yeah, but anyway, guys, that's a quick overview. Um, as you can see, yeah, you've got all your runways. Um, and you hear someone else. So sometimes I got, if you have a real instrument flight rating or something, I think people actually, yeah, there you go. So private pilot license. So that's that's in his details. So that way, oh, 3,000 hours. So that way, you know, um, that guy's pretty experienced. Probably for the more so for the air traffic controllers. But yeah, it's really smooth. It runs great. I've used it a whole heap now. Like, like I said, multiple browsers. Like I'll have one on the ground and one, um, you know, in the air in the proximity around me. So, anyway, but yeah, I uh, just want to show you guys that and uh, happy vat simming. See you guys on the next one.